welcome to this paddle. Today we have a pro paddle player, really well known, especially in Spain, where I'm from, and also an entrepreneur, uh, Pedro, or Peter Alonso, is having a second life in the US, a new successful life. And uh, I was looking forward to talk to him and have our audience get to know one of the pillars of the growth of Paddle in the United States and also, and we're going to talk about it, the Caribbean and parts of Latin America. So, Pedro, Peter, welcome. Thank you so much, Rosa. It's a pleasure to be here with you. So, uh, there's something that I really like uh, related to your profile, but also your entrepreneurial mindset and journey, and is that right now coming to Miami is like quite obvious but you came here before it was a trend for Paddle. Mm -hmm. So how was that? When did you decide to come and why? Well, um, I've been playing my all my life uh, this sport, Paddle. Uh, in 2021, well, I started being professional in 2009, and 12 years later, 2021, it was a moment in my career, a little bit difficult. I was feeling that maybe I was not going to be able to to pick my best level or my best rank uh, that I had before. And I just uh, had a baby. And it was a moment uh, where I felt that I need to make new challenges. Mm -hmm. And well, suddenly appears an opportunity to come to Miami because I have a, a business that they call a Paddle MBA, mm -hmm. it's capacita capacitation for coaches. Mm -hmm. So in that moment, they wanted to make like one one thing here, mm -hmm. and obviously my partners didn't didn't ask about me because uh, I was on tour. But uh, mm -hmm. when I listened that offer. Uh, for someone else, uh, I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, because maybe it's time to, to start facing new challenges. In that moment, my, my wife was a teacher in a school, mm -hmm. and she was going to be like, uh, without working, let's say, yeah. uh, until summer, yeah. and this was uh, the whole June. So it was, we we're talking about February more or less, uh, or well, I, I don't remember, April more or less, when uh, I took Marta, my wife, and I told her, hey, what about trying to go there? She told me, you know that this is going to be the end of your career like a pro. I say, yeah, I know, I know, but I feel that I need uh, new, new challenges. So she believed in me, like always, and she says, let's go. So we came here to try that month, with a baby of three months. Well, wow. during that time, it was difficult because it was just after COVID. Remember, and in that mm -hmm. date in Spain, we didn't have the chance to have the vac the vaccine. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, what we had to make it was uh, more than 14 days out of Schengen space. So we had to go to Mexico. We mm -hmm. were 17 days in Cancun. Okay. Then we came here one whole month. And then uh, after one week here, uh, my feeling was uh, this is going to be the future. I'm going to start building for for coming here and for the next steps is going to be here. Paddle in the US, wow. And what has happened since then until now? Because it's two years and a half, almost three years. Yeah. Wow, happens, imagine, a lot, a lot, a lot of things. It's difficult to explain all of them. And my feeling is like it's three years, but so many things happening. Uh, probably it's a feeling of 10 years of work or even more. But well, I, I had a vision and really clear what uh, I wanted to, to do, to make. So the first thing that I wanted to make is um, to have at least, or to try at least to have my, my decisions, okay? So uh, then how to come, you know that all these uh, visas yeah. uh, are not easy. So um, I, it was clear that I wanted to start making business, yeah. not only as a player or as a paddle coach. I wanted to, to create business. So I made like a company that is 100% mine. 
I use it like a holding company mm -hmm. where I start the rest of the companies exactly mm -hmm. uh, that I have uh, right now. Um, it was a uh, it was a uh, difficult. It was mm -hmm. not easy. A tough tough yeah. times, but we could make it. So really happy. And now I mean I think it has been really hard work. And now everything is getting more yeah. clear, and and the road is yeah. is like like yeah more more clear. So when I started, yeah, uh, we said okay. I want in my mind I want a 360 around my my uh, around our industry. I have all the connections. I have the experience in a lot of ways and how I started to sell my partners or yeah. my, my sponsors. Uh, it was, okay, uh, I'm Peter Alonso, I go to US, I'm going to start playing the, the US uh, tour, I'm going to go number one in the ranking, then I will be more known in US, that is going to help me with uh, trips, is going to help me with new connections, all that connections are going to start knowing me and then is the best way uh, why I'm I'm going to be able to sell all my my different business lines, mm -hmm. right? So what, that was the idea. Mm -hmm. Then you have to make it for yeah. sure. That way, social paddle, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. And then, then and then, well, we started like this. So at that times when I sold like this uh, idea. Mm -hmm. I signed a contract with El Grupo Padre Nuestro and mm -hmm. Sioux in that times, um, and I came here as a country manager of, mm -hmm. of, of both, so I was like the first one to yeah. land a little bit uh, Padre Nuestro and, and Sioux. Uh, that was really helpful because uh, for sure it was a big invest, uh, I need incomes, mm -hmm. this is not a cheap place. No. And is uh, continue. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm investing all the time. I'm yeah. investing, so that's the way as how I started mm -hmm. uh, this this beautiful this time. Beautiful. And but also, how do you feel when you go back to Spain and they ask you? Because I'm sure they cannot believe how many things you've achieved in such a short amount of time. Like years here, are like dog years. Like one year yeah. here is like seven years anywhere else. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, um, for sure, it's another, it's another speed here. It's another speed in in, in a lot of different ways. Um, it's true that it's uh, being like difficult years. At the same time, big challenges. Uh, really, really motivated with this. I have a vision, and I have a really clear vision that what is going to happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, for sure. I mean, I I, I don't read the future. Yeah. But at least I think I'm in a um, right way, more or less right way, yeah. where um, Padel is going to be in the country, in the U.S. And yeah, the people is like, uh, follows me and says, I mean, what, are, what are you doing? And now it's brands and now our courts and now yeah. you are going to open a club and then you do this. But well, the only, the only way or what I do is I don't stop. Yeah. So I don't stop. Uh, I try to be the most professional guy I can, to be a trust uh, to to be a, a trustable yeah. Yeah. Uh, guy, and for sure I have really good partners with me that makes this possible. Because yeah. uh, alone, you, yeah. you can have ideas, but you can't uh, yeah. take everything. Yeah, everything yeah. Exactly. That's what they say, like. If you're gonna go fast, go alone. If you're gonna go far, go exactly, with a team. Exactly, exactly. So. So, so I'm blessed. I have a really good partners, uh, people who I trust, people who has big experience in business in different ways uh, that uh, for me, I mean, I, I'm a guy that I try always to be open eyes, to hear and to take information, to keep mm -hmm. it by myself and try to do the best, the best uh, as I can. Mm -hmm. And it's what I, I try to do. Okay. So we're talking about the U.S. market. When you came here, there were barely, I don't know, 10 courts in the Miami area, more or less? Yeah, probably when I came, it was Wynwood Paddle that has eight courts. It was three courts in the uh, Rich Carton in Key Biscayne. It was that four courts of uh, Real Padel, uh, in, all mm -hmm. in, in, in Wynwood, mm -hmm. located in Wynwood. 
eh, One Core in Doral. Eh, Paddle Live with Three. Paddle uh, Live uh, with Three, exactly. Paddle Live with Three. And no more. And, and, Wayne's, and, and Wayne's Court, but it was a, a private one. Uh, one. court at his house. So I think when I came here, that's it. No yeah. more. Yeah. And how do you see it now? Well, uh, what I see right now is for sure Miami has boomed. Florida mm -hmm. is getting like a yeah. big boom. And I tell you something, I'm absolutely sure what happened. It's not that this is going to be a bubble. Maybe in the future it's a, bu a bubble, we, we don't know. But what I'm absolutely sure is that uh, here is really difficult to make a club, you know it. Yeah. Because here, uh, the bureaucratic things with the permissions and all that stuff, it's not easy. So, 100%, if this were, were easier, yeah. we would have a plus 10, of course, that yeah. we have, yeah. actually. So, um, I think it's in uh, good things and bad things about this. Good things, the people that are making clubs, I feel that they are professional and they really, really uh, deserve what they are making because <laughs> it's a hard work. Yeah. It's two years of permission, it's investing. Uh, so so I think that that's one of the good things that yeah. is going to be, I, th I feel like yeah. it's professional. Yeah, to me, like uh, from a really like amateur learner point of view, there are two key points that I haven't found yet. But it doesn't mean that it's bad done. What I mean is that it's not yet there. Mm -hmm. One is community. Yeah. Like we know each other, but to build games is still like a lot of WhatsApps and all that. And the other is the methodology. And I wanted to touch that point because it's related to Paddle MBA. So I think it's still here to learn Paddle. It's difficult in the way that it's still expensive and it's difficult to have like um, how to put things together to make it like it has sense. So how do you see that as an opportunity to, mm -hmm. like given that you've lived like the golden years in Spain mm -hmm. and now exporting that here? Yeah, 100%. I mean, when I tell you that I feel that professional uh, people is making clubs, uh, I mean that they are uh, professional at business, mm -hmm. not our industry. Yeah. So they are new. More, 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 most of them, they are new. Yeah. So completely new. So they know how to run a business. It's true that our industry is uh, a peculiar uh, one that is not a robotic thing, is not a pharmacy. So it stills being like a big human part yeah. mm -hmm. in all the different ways yeah. uh, even not only coaching uh, as uh, when you go to a club and, and the hospitality of the club or how you even make uh, rackets yeah. still being a big human uh, part so there is a process for sure there is a process um, probably um, there is not right now um, let's say like a program or mm -hmm. something like that uh, integrated with all the clubs yeah. that can make that mm -hmm. uh, making matches, yeah. making teams, yeah. whatever is going to be more professional. Yeah. Right now, I feel like there is like different softwares trying yeah. to uh, win the battle. Yeah. But it's true that uh, if we go to that point that you you're asking for, uh, you need like a main uh, thing that yeah. everyone tries to go through yeah. that uh, uh, software. Yeah. It's one of the things that I I, I believe. The other um, so important, uh, so so important, uh, the way uh, the formative way, yeah. coaches. This is uh, probably the most important thing I believe in 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 paddle because I mean, pad, uh, the the courts are courts, the rackets are rackets, balls are balls, but how you play uh, is a new sport. It's a sport that the people that who has big experience in that mm -hmm. and really knows the sport are really limited. Yeah. Because I has been a, a, during a lot of years has been an Argentinian and a Spanish uh, sport no more. Now suddenly uh, the worldwide explode, so it's really important to have a good way 
to make new coaches for the day of tomorrow. Yeah. So I think we have a, a good chance with, with Pal NBA. Uh, we are not the only ones. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's not that I'm going to tell you that we are the only ones or whatever. Is that uh, um, what I what I want in my clubs yeah. is people uh, with open eyes, with um, that really wants to improve and really wants to study, mm -hmm. and that uh, how, um, is going. I mean, no one uh, is going to get born with with experience, yeah. but if you do it in the right way, I'm sure. Uh, in three, four years, we'll start being good U.S. coaches. At the same time, the U.S. guy that is going to be 10 years old and start playing yeah. will be a good player. Then in 10 years, probably, in the top of the ranking, in the World Tour, you will see a U.S. guy. Yeah. This is going to make that it's going to be a will. Yeah, and that's important too. Mm -hmm. Like that process of creating the heroes so people can identify with them and want to be like them. That what really grows the market. So we talk a little bit about Florida, but you are traveling all over the country, right? Like you've been to California, Texas, New York. How do you see all those areas? How Paddle is growing out of Florida in the US? Mm -hmm. I'm in a moment right now I, that I travel a lot, it's true. Um, I feel like that my next five, 10 years are going to, it looks like it's going to be busy. <laughs> Also, uh, I travel a lot to LA. Uh, I, I have been playing in New York, in Chicago, in Texas, in Dallas, yeah. Austin, Houston. What I see right now is um, that probably the second market is going to be Texas mm -hmm. for many reasons. We are close to Mexico. The, the weather is not so bad. Maybe mm -hmm. it's a little bit extreme, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, at the same time, you have a lot of land. Yeah and the permissions are easier than in Florida. Okay. So how I see the country, the whole country, uh, for, for Spanish people when mm -hmm. I explain them, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel or I see US like Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms that each, um, like Florida or yeah, Texas. Each state is like a exactly, country. Exactly. And that's what they don't understand in Spain. Exactly. Like each state is uh, a country uh, itself. Um, uh, it's, it's a country itself because it works completely different. So uh, you have to understand that. And this is going to be one of the keys yeah. of uh, the growing for tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so that's one of the reasons that I feel that Texas is going to be big. Uh, California is being big. They are, go they are doing quite a good work. It's uh, Gabriel with Tactica. He's making a nice, an amazing, amazing work with the with the um, clubs. I know there is a few clubs coming soon also over there. So everything everything is getting like uh, yeah, that's interesting. like better. And, and I believe, I mean, I, I'm not going to be the only man yeah. that I'm going to build clubs yeah. or sell rackets or sell material for sure. Uh, if you make it by yourself with another, yeah. I will be really happy, promise you, yeah. really, really happy, because this is going to mean that our sport is going to yeah. level up, and that level up is going to be really good for everyone that is involved yeah. in the industry. But that's, to me, part of the magic in this country, like the, that growth mindset and creating an ecosystem that is good for everybody, so everybody wins. Mm -hmm. and instead of the scarcity mindset that if you have it, I don't have it, but if you put everything together, it's bigger than us. And it's something that to me makes unique the US, the way they think about business and about growing something new. Mm -hmm. Like what do we have in common and what we can do together in order to make this bigger? I love that mentality and I feel, and I feel that the people who I work with, uh, not I work with in the same company or mm -hmm. that they are involved right now with big ideas in the paddle industry in the country, things like us and that is really really important so i mean um, if you want to be big exactly yeah, um, i mean uh, i'm not worried about you or what mm -hmm. you're doing i'm worried about what i'm doing yeah so so that's the key i think yeah so you were talking about your clubs what's mm -hmm. coming on that side 
What oh. are you building that we yeah. can know? Maybe you can yeah. come again soon and tell us the specific news, but in general. Well, basically, I tell you, I have uh, inside my, my, my own business right now, I have the distribution, of course, of, well, my, my company it has a, um, a distribution, of course, of Portico, okay, a top, top courts and canopies. Okay. Uh, yeah, we have them there. Portico. Here you have it, Portico Sport. So we have the distribution in, in US and Canada. Uh, we also have, well, right now I'm part owner of Sioux. Okay. We just the racket. Yeah, we just bought the brand like three months ago. Okay. Congrats. So thank you so much. Really happy with that and with this. And well, uh, so about now you can do one with your own name and all that. Well, now <laughs> if, 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 we, if we, I, I can't make it now, I don't know when. No, yeah. I, I don't know when. So, we, but well, um, about the clubs, uh, I'm really, really, really happy. I'm really excited because right now, before we end this year, we are going to open two with my name. Mm-hmm. One is going to be the first club in Washington DC. Cool. And the other is going to be in Cartagena de Indias, in Colombia. Wow. So I will keep you posts, yeah, and everyone, course. I will keep you posts about about the openings. Yeah, and but I guess Washington DC is going to be indoor, right? Yeah, or? I am Washington DC. What we are going to make is right now, let's say, kind of a pop-up of four cool. courts. Mm-hmm. While we have the permission that we are working on, we have been uh, months working on. We are really close to that permission, and we are going to make eight courts in the in the main right. in the main one. That's so, amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congrats. Thank you so much. Just yeah, thinking yeah. like that, We're, it's for sure. We need a club that is going to be able to play the whole year. Yeah, yeah. but but at least they have a taste of what paddle is. Exactly, yes. and and you know what? There is a lot of of places in U.S. right now with Latin people that in his countries they play a lot, and they yeah. are like, "Wow, I would love to play paddle," yeah. and they can't because yeah. they don't have courts. This is going to happen. I mean, they are in the next five years. I would believe in five years this is not going to happen. Yeah, I believe in five years it's not going to be a place in U.S. without without a paddle court. Wow. And uh, Cartagena is Colombia, but it's also a super international and touristic place. So iconic in many ways. And also there's a lot of conferences and summits and things going on there. Mm-hmm. So it's both the part of the business, but also tourism, right? So I think it's uh, an iconic place to have a club. Yeah, we have the, the club is going to be Mucho. It's called okay. Mucho Padel by, by Peter Alonso. Uh, we are partnering with Alejandro Falla, mm-hmm. one of the best tennis players in the history of Colombia, captain of Copa Davis, wow. uh, and really happy to partner with them. And I believe it's going to be a uh, something beautiful. Yeah, so we've talked about your like gear business, okay, your uh, clubs and court business, but also you are competing still like uh, and I see you celebrating with Peter. More than jugadas, I see como celebráis, right? So, what's the when I go with Peter with Jacobo, like when yeah. you play? So, what's the special for you about competing with him? Well, thanks to God, I still can play, still can uh, be winning tournaments. Uh, I don't know how long he's going to to be able this. Uh, so every tournament that I win uh, for me is special because I feel that this is not going to be all my life. Yeah. And I know, and what I feel yeah. is that it's ending. I mean, for sure, I will do everything in my hands to, to keep winning, to keep training, to keep doing my best, but uh, you never know. So um, one of the best things that uh, Padel has given me is friends. Yeah, I have uh, really special friends uh, has been my life. So, Jacobo is one of my best friends of all my life. We okay. are neighbors in, you know, I don't know if no. you know this. We are neighbors. We know each other uh, more than 30 years wow. ago. We have uh, been uh, like brothers. Okay. So, so during the pro, um, the world tour, uh, we played a lot of the times against, but never together. Okay. And, and like three years ago or two years ago, uh, we had the chance. He moved to Panama, mm-hmm. 
Then I had a tournament in Las Vegas, and I called him. I said, Jacobo, we have a tournament in Las Vegas. Uh, let's play. You want to play? He told me, yes, definitely, I will. Two minutes later, he called me back. Uh, he told me, Pete, I'm thinking one thing. Why we don't start playing together? And I come first with mm -hmm. you, and we start making, say, welcome home, my brother. Well, that's it. I mean, welcome, yeah. welcome. I, uh, now I'm and, and and now imagine it's not uh, not only about playing winning is yeah. I have so much fun with him yeah. he's the best yeah, he's, so it's a bonding thing too wow like, it's, yeah. it's amazing we have we have so such a good time we celebrate when we win we celebrate with yeah in funny ways yeah funny ways so so i'm blessed with Jaco, yeah, yeah for those that don't know because maybe oh this is a guy from spain that plays super well but you were top player too in the World Parallel Tour, right? Mm -hmm. So how do you feel about it? Like it changes a lot. Like here you were like going back to the beginnings, but now it's still here, like going to top level very quickly. Yes, it's, 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 um, it's weird because it's really, really different everything. Uh, for sure, I was really focused during my career to play the World Padel Tour. I've been eight years in the first 20 best couples of the yeah. world. Uh, the money was the money that we had, that it was really short. Yeah. And right now I win much more than before. Than you did, yeah. Uh, this is a, a for sure different level, mm -hmm. but it's increasing here. Uh, so at the same time, it's like when I came here, uh, it was three people looking a match. Now you play a tournament and and, yeah. and it's uh, and it's streamed pretty full of people and, and it's yeah, yeah, streamed yeah. and it's like uh, every day is more professional. So I feel like it's like I felt like this was going to end and suddenly not yeah. and it's going, going up, up again. Yeah. And so I'm really excited. Yeah. I will do everything that I have in my hands mm -hmm. to still still. Yeah, you're surfing I'm this wave. Feel, yeah, I'm feeling that the competition. Makes I'm sense. a guy that I love the competition. I love how I feel that 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 nervous mm -hmm. mm, just previously a final yeah. uh, when you win when you lose. I mean, no, it's amazing. Where can we find you? Like because I've seen you in 995 and seen you in some other class. So how can someone meet you? Yeah, right now, right now I have like um, some some clients, private clients mm -hmm. that I have uh, with really good relationship with them. Uh, my my time is is not super limited. Super yeah. limited because I do of a course. lot of things. I yeah. travel a lot. So basically, I have like my my 15, 20 clients that we are moving around. I train them for sure. It's, a possi it's, it's possible to train with me. Yeah, yes. But it's, it's not it, for everybody, of course. Exactly. Yeah. And, and, and you have to be flexible. Yeah. Because uh, my life is boom, 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 boom. So uh, right now I'm almost all the time in, in I-95. Yeah. Sometimes I go to reserve. Sometimes I go to private houses. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's it. So talking about private houses, maybe this is not that that private, but I saw that you have the Puerto Rico Invitational. So mm -hmm. what's that? Because I'm, I've been following a little bit of the Hexagon Cup. I really like the Bella team. Okay. Because it was like, oh, Bella, Coelho, El Hermano. So I, I like the team. Like It was kind of a special. And you're part of them, too. Yes. So how does it work? Yes, so um, Bella team is a team of the Puerto Rico. Uh, sorry, it's a team from Puerto Rico. That is a team from the Hexagon Cup, mm -hmm. uh, right? It was the best team last year. Uh, not because I'm, I'm working with him, with them. It's because I mean they made a crew of 50 people yeah. going to Madrid, making sound, making uh, yeah. with with all the the, the production. Uh, it was amazing. I mean, by far was the yeah. team that more uh, sound made yeah. uh, over this, and I love it. So I had the the opportunity to join them as a general manager and uh, as a partner of the of the team mm -hmm. so for sure i i didn't have any doubt to to join them um, the owner of the team is carlos uh, lopez lai is a an awesome guy an awesome entrepreneur and they love uh, with maria his uh, wife uh, they are crazy with the sports they get in love with padel and mm -hmm. they decide to make this this adventure no with, yeah, with this somehow. this team 
So uh, we wanted to make something special in Puerto Rico. In Puerto Rico right now, uh, there is not a lot of paddle. Right now there is uh, one club in Dorado, in Dorado, another that is Colecos. Now they just opened three courts. Uh, I'm not sure the name of the mm -hmm. of the um, club, and they are going to make five um, five. How do you say uh, municipales? Yeah, like public courts. Public, yeah. exactly. Five public uh, public courts. So uh, Carlos, my partner, has a, a, a private facility mm -hmm. over there with a paddle court, a pickleball court that is uh, great. Uh, so we wanted to make something special. So what we are creating or what we have now is the, uh, we, we had called it the Puerto Rico Invitational Cup. We are making it next week. Okay. It's going to be eight per couples with two groups of four okay. with a round robin format then the first two qualifies are going to semifinals and then the finals uh, we had invest a lot of money in in players in prize money in all that can be around because okay. it's like okay you're going to make a tournament it's a court no 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 this is a stadium a tournament this okay. is a stadium this accord, this is a lot of people working for the crowds, working for, there's going to be ambulance, it's going to be police, it's going to be uh, international um, uh, referees. Okay. I mean, it's everything that uh, you, so we wanted to make something special. It's going to be the first professional event of paddle in the history of Puerto Rico. Cool. And I'm really happy to to be there. To be making so the, you're playing, but also being part of kind of yeah. a promoter and yeah, a mastermind. I'm, I'm promoter, and I'm making the the direction of the tournament with with uh, Jose Calvo Sotelo. Oh, okay. Calvin, I know him. I like him a lot. Yeah, who is Good. one one of the owners of you know, Exxon Gap. We are so we are big friends, okay. and and it's a pleasure to to work with him. Oh, he's gonna make everything easy because he's a super easy going person. He's an easy going person. Yeah. Okay, so who are gonna play there? We have uh, we have a lot of players that they are on active right now on the tour. Probably the the first or uh, let's say like wow, it's uh, going to be Paquito Navarro with Juan Martin Diaz. Oh, cool! So they are going to play probably the last tournament as yeah. a tournament like this. Yeah, a yeah. couple that has been a legend. Yeah. Uh, mm, together and separately, uh, both of them has been number one of the world, mm -hmm. uh, most iconic players in the history, and I think it's a great chance to to give them an opportunity to to make something special. Yeah. We have uh, Lucas Campagnolo, Lucho Capra, Ramiro Moyano. We have Juan Cruz Beluati, Pablo Lijo. Gonzalo Rubio, Nacho Vilariño, we have uh, Mario del Castillo, we have Rodrigo Coello, cool. uh, Abella, team player. Exactly, Fermosel. Guga Vázquez okay. is coming also. He's going to play with Adrián Ronco. So we have uh, a plenty of really good players that are on active and it's yeah. going to be really, really special. Yeah, when people think it's friendly, it's friendly until they get into the court and okay. then there are no friends. Uh, uh, the, dinner, the, dinner, the dinner of the day before is going to be really friendly. After that, it's going to be a war. Yeah, for sure I like it and um, how do you see next year in paddle because we have here like USPA we have red paddle there's maybe premier coming so how to make people understand what paddle is because to me right now is people are coming but they don't understand really the difference between the, what they can do what they can see what's for them and what's to watch so the educational part to me is what sometimes give me thinking yeah. how to make that work. I mean, it's difficult. It's difficult times uh, with that because it's kind of messy. Everything. Yeah. Everyone wants to be involved in the industry. Everyone wants to have a piece of the cake. Yeah. So suddenly appears new circuits, new. Yeah. You know. Um, so I'm not sure I, I, about next year. What is going to happen? I'm sure who is doing well uh, and, and hopefully uh, for me, if uh, if I can, or my dream, no, or whatever, yeah. or, or what I want to, not my dream, yeah. what I would uh, want to is to have like a main thing globally and that the player can 
can choose if yeah. I want to play a premiere in Dubai or a red paddle in, in Houston. And that uh, can be under uh, the same umbrella of ranking yeah. uh, with different uh, points or whatever. But I think that if you're professional, you're professional. Yeah. And every professional tournament has to needs to have some qualities for sure. And if you have that standards of qualities, why not? Is it not going to count uh, this here uh, or, or that there? I think everything has to be under a, a big umbrella. Yeah. I would like that. There's something <coughs> that I think is uh, it's important in the US for sports for growth, which is college, right? Because here players, like let's say guys train a lot of tennis or baseball or like their American football or soccer, and they even have people international because they can make their own like academic career at the same time as they compete top level. So I think if Parel gets to get there, that's gonna make juniors also grow. Like since they are kids, they're gonna be trying to get there. And then you have like a professional athlete that then can be part of the professional side. I'm talking about this, which is easy to say, then it's going and opening and putting course over there. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, that could like expedite and make it faster for the sport to grow seriously in the US. Yeah, the, uh, Rosa, my, my idea is that that is going to happen. Uh, when? Good question. Soon, not, but it's going to happen for sure. One of the problems that uh, we have right now with the next generation of players is that it's an expensive sport here. Yeah. The reason that it's uh, still expensive is uh, everywhere. Eh? When yeah. they started in Sweden, it was like this. They, when we started in Spain, even, I mean. In Spain, it was hyper mega exclusive. Remember. And in Mexico, it still is because it's in private clubs. So exactly. there's not the amount of people. Exactly. So basically when it's a uh, short uh, courts in a country it's something like exclusive special so you can rate more money and that is going to be a, a stopper for next generations while this is going to be having more courts more courts more courts when public places starts building also courts it's going to be much more accessible for for everyone mm -hmm. so this is going to happen for sure i believe uh, this country uh, they invest a lot in the public way with sports but it is not going to be an exception for mm -hmm. sure but right now uh, it's not a, a a known sport yeah so what happened right now is that if you go we go together and we go to the downtown of boston or I don't know, Minnesota yeah. or whatever, and we ask people, do you know what is paddle? They don't know. Yeah. In five years, they will. So uh, I think this is a process. The timing or how fast it's going to go mm -hmm. is uncertain, but I believe that this country is going to make possible that the, that the speed is going to be much faster than in everywhere else in, in the world. Okay, so I think we've touched more of your, let's say, your ecosystem right now. I, I hope to have you here very soon in order to talk just about your clubs or how the competition is going or just maybe, I don't know, the new Sioux line or mm -hmm. whatever is going to come. But like thinking about the future, which would be your like wish for Paddle? Well, my wish uh, for Paddle is uh, one of my wishes is uh, what you said about the the college. If we go and let's say that that happened, that means that is a absolutely official sport here, a really uh, known that the next generation are going to be able to have careers uh, making something yeah. with this sport. Uh, and this is going to say that all the lines of courts, rackets, yeah. everything is going to be yeah. working a lot. So, so the only thing I wish also is the people to be professional in the in the way, and try to build this sport in the in the best way that that we can. Yeah, well, I think they have good advisors, right? <laughs> that is following the guidance of those that have done it before and know how to do it. 
So I think your value is quite clear in all this ecosystem, mm. sharing the knowledge, but also activating things, not just saying, but also rolling your sleeves and doing it. Exactly. I told you before, I think before the podcast, yeah. uh, everyone talks and it's, it's okay to have ideas, but here in life, you have to execute them. If without execution, the ideas are worthless, no? So, so it's the only way to do what you say or try. Yeah, at, at least, least try and then you learn. Work is yeah. the only way. It is. Thank you, Peter. Thank you so much, Rosa. Un it's a pleasure. See you soon. Placer. Thank you so much.